sometimes it happens you see something on eBay that is one euro you put a bid on it because you know you will not win it and uh, obviously you finally win it and receive a giant parcel with a big doorstop so it is what happened here almost this oscilloscope was uh, one euro on German eBay I did place a bid up to 20 euros because I was almost sure someone else did will overbid me and I ended getting it for 18 euros so it is an oscilloscope actually a HP 180A oscilloscope but there is something particular about it uh, the HP brand is almost not present except here and here at the bottom of the modules we have these two massive extra aluminium parts that I believe are not uh, part of the original oscilloscope setup because this oscilloscope has uh, something particular it was contracted for the Ministry of Defense and the NATO it is covered here on the back with NATO model numbers as I did show in my uh, community stream on uh, YouTube so part of the wall kit and here you have the British broad arrow so of uh, military origin so it was at some point uh, used in the Ministry of Defense and it must be really a high uh, hours unit because you can see it is quite uh, oxidized so I was hoping to get a working device that, that I could use but sadly not I will show you why uh, we are missing something here over the power button but it is not a big deal it is just a light I do not know how it will show on camera, but there is something weird here in the phosphor of the CRT. It seems like we have a burn mark. It is not easy to see. Maybe if I rotate the camera like this. I did notice it from the eBay photo already. Yes, it is here. You can see there is a little bit of a different color. So maybe it is not. Uh, a big deal and it will work anyways but uh, sadly spoiler alert no and I did already diagnose the problem and it is the worst problem you can think of in an oscilloscope but I will still power it on for you Of course I have missing the special mains cable so I have to make something for myself so you can see we have a light here uh, whatever you do you get absolutely no spot on the display I did ever follow the maintenance manual that says you must undo the plugins in order to have a spot in the center something like this but no luck uh, it is not working at all the display we have on the side here neon lights that are lighting up do you see it yes you can see a bit of orange glow in here and here so I did test the power supply bus they are ok you find the maintenance manual on the web not a very good scan but it is free and it at most uh, it allows to diagnose it so when I did uh, find no beam I did first check the power supplies they are good I did check the uh, oscillator transistor in the primary side of the high voltage transformer it is good and it is oscillating I did not check the high voltage side because uh, obviously I do not have the correct tools but what I did do also is check the CRT filament 
And yes, it is the problem actually. The CRT filament is cut open. So it means uh, CRT is bad. This oscilloscope is not uh, super rare. You can find it on eBay quite often. There is a few of them actually uh, currently on to uh, eBay. Most of the time in the USA, but they are less than one hundred dollars. The parts one are around twenty to forty dollars. So not a uh, high value unit. It is why it will probably end in parts. Maybe I will try to resell the plugins at least to recover my expense. I will see, but it is uh, they are missing button caps, so I do not know. What I will do exactly, but today, anyways, we will have a look inside this thing in order to see how it is constructed. So first thing I believe will be to disconnect one last time the mains and remove my cable I made for it. Because I do not have a special socket, I did retrieve uh, some old connector parts and uh, tinker something like this. It did work. And bonus points, if you can tell from which device is this men's lid. I did find it in the e-waste uh, bin in the shop. Okay. So, I have here a big unit. Actually, the interesting thing with this device, uh, quite nice thing, uh, is the covers you can just open by flipping out of the way two plastic tabs and it will uh, liberate the covers. Very nice design. Here we have a little piece you can extend probably to secure some uh, props or something like this. Uh, but first I will undo the, show you how to undo the plugins. These units are provided with plugins you can swap. So here we have the two uh, regular ones, the 1801A dual channel vertical amplifier, 50 MHz, and the uh, 1821A Time band on the delay generator. Excuse me, time base on the delay generator. So to remove these plugins, you have to lift here to pull here, and this will make an handle, and you can just pull them. But first, I will keep them in place because the inside of the oscilloscope looks a lot better when they are inserted, if not uh, the almost two thirds of the bottom is empty. Okay. Uh, maybe we will have a little look for you at the controls. If you do not know them on this oscilloscope. We have, so the main switch here is missing. Very bad shadow today, by the way. Uh, missing a cap on the lamp. We have apparently here intensity setting on the find bin button. I believe it will cut the uh, vertical and horizontal uh, inputs in order to have a beam in the middle or something like this. You have your focus scale. Uh, the calibration signals, they are actually working. I did test them with another oscilloscope. Your horizontal position magnifier. Uh, external input trigger probably. AC, DC. And here your plugins with position for two channels, scale for two channels, display mode. Alt shop all your regular oscilloscope stuff really it is a pretty basic oscilloscope should be nice if it is working your type controls very nice multi-turn multi uh, 
vernier et un for the delay very nice button and here this weird uh, selectors with missing plastic caps and about these uh, buttons if you want to do them yes you have on the side a very very I will zoom in for you small allen head and of course I found I had no matching allen screw or more exactly my allen tool was already worn out for this size so what I did as I was fed up of not having enough small allen keys I went on to Radio Spares and for, I bought for 30 euros of very small allen keys of all the small size they did have in uh, individual packages which are actually not individual but packages of 5 keys and it is really nice now I have a lifetime supply of allen keys because the smaller ones like this you do not find them in the regular uh, shops or even on eBay, something like this. They are almost in obtenium and uh, they, won't, they wear out uh, very quick, in particular if you purchase cheap ones. So I have 0.89mm, 1.5mm, 05 inch or 1.27 millimeters it is actually the size I need for the buttons here 0.7 millimeters or 0.028 inch again 1.27 millimeters but this, this one are the were given in millimeters on the website the other one was given in inch and they do not have the same reference number so I did pick up both of them because sometimes a very very tiny difference might have some importance. One sixteenth of an inch, one point fifty six millimeter, maybe also from inch this one, two millimeters and five sixty four of an inch. I up. It is enough now. I will not be bothered anytime soon with these little sizes of Allen keys. Okay. So, uh, time I believe to open this thing and show you what we have. And we start with uh, upper side here. So here obviously we have the horizontal uh, controls and horizontal uh, amplification board. I will zoom in for you. So your front controls. So very nice ma uh, US made uh, parts of course. This unit actually is uh, made in Great Britain. Uh, serial number U832 dash zero two six four zero so we have the controls here with long shafts that go to this uh, multi stage wafer switches we have one circuit board here with um, some quite unusual things but you can notice the circuit boards here are not the regular uh, high quality you find in uh, all Tektronics or HP equipment because we are missing the gold uh, tracks. It is regular uh, tin plated tracks and really not uh, impressive. Also, a big issue with this unit is that everything is hardwired. The only things that are not hardwired excuse me, are the CRT and the plugins, the connector to the plugins. But everything else uh, wired like this directly onto the circuit board, making the maintenance really, really uh, complicated. Here, interesting couples of uh, transistors with gold legs. 
So if I scrap this unit, I will keep any unusual parts because actually we have quite a load of silver mica capacitors and they are expensive. On the back here, some uh, a circuit board with four transistors for uh, amplification probably to the plates of the CRT. Big securing fig here for the CRT. So I will not take it apart completely in this video, obviously, because it is apparently quite a nightmare to do. Okay, now the bottom panel here. So for this, I need to lift the unit, press the incredibly bow annoying handle here at the bottom, that fit, and then I am able to undo this, and now it is all sideways for you. So I will put my camera sideways also. Okay, here we have actually the uh, electronics from the plugin, which I will show you later. But you can see already, all these are silver thermical capacitors, and really they are expensive. And still, uh, current model, this unit is from uh, 1968 or 1970s, early 1970s maybe, but you still find the same kind of silver mica capacitors. Here is your main uh, power supply board, actually, uh, regulator board, with some power transistors here on the side, and your four test points you find in the service manual, the voltages you have on them. And really, it allows to uh, check easily the power supply. Also, you have trimmers for uh, any adjustment you need, but given my CRT is dead, it is not worth investigating anymore. Excuse me, this thing is overly oversized for my bench and it is quite annoying. Here you can see some uh, V cylinders are some giant uh, electrolytic capacitors and this black thing is the giant uh, power transformer and you have a lot of stickers with calibration void if removed. Uh, an overview at this uh, front handle here made from a solid piece of machined and anodized aluminium. So it is obviously an add-on for the NATO, I believe. And you can see it is a little bit flimsy quite weird. Okay, I will uh, reinsert the covers on this side and we will have a look at the other side. Uh, by the way, quite nice aluminium covers. Maybe someone somewhere need replacement covers for a similar oscilloscope. So I will see. I will maybe try to sell some parts on eBay if I scrap the unit. Um, this might be uh, a nice kit if I do the four uh, panels as in good condition. Maybe someone somewhere in the world will be happy to have them. Oh. Other side. On the top first. So same thing here. You have to open. Ah, maybe first I will show you the bottom side a little bit more. The back side, we have our uh, panel here with all the back inputs. Your uh, SP serial number tag and uh, NATO tag and the modification record tag. Your uh, NATO model numbers, your broad arrow on the bottom. Two set of uh, heat sinks, fuse, a voltage selector, and a very annoying and very particular mains plug. Okay, 
So time to open the side. So tell it was a big parcel. I was really hoping this thing to work, but sadly no. On this 30 it being bad, there is not much I can do. So here we have the uh, high voltage power supply only for the, excuse me, a little bit of a technical issue here. This cover was really easy to open and no, it does not want anymore to open. Here we are. So your high voltage power supply, what you want to test actually in the service manual the S plane and also I found it onto a website. You have to check your fuse here if you have no display. You have to check your transistor here is oscillating properly because it is actually feeding the high voltage transformer which is located in here. and all your voltage parts with here the multiplier you can see made with uh, Sprague uh, capacitors and the big diodes by General Electric and all potted in a clear compound here the CRT controls so these parts here look a little bit suspicious, but actually they are good. More uh, silver total amp capacitors. This one are actually really big. And your front, front controls. With your fund beam button here which is actually a shaft passing through the middle of the potentiometer because here we have the intensity for the potentiometer and here we have the shaft passing through the middle of it the uh, mains button with built in uh, light which is missing Okay, excuse me, uh, bottom left panel removed now, we have here more of the power supply stuff with more big spray compulitic capacitors. Okay, here, more the big fuse box with actually four fuse and uh, two spare ones that you want to check if you have any power supply problem, but it is not my case. And this unit here is actually the plugin, so I will now pull the plugins out for you. Oh, by the way, it is written in the cover caution front in red, so it must be important. So, the plugins, it's just a matter of Pulling and it will unmate like this, as you can see, and you will result in a nice set of two plugins actually uh, attached together. Like this, so these two plugins. We have uh, nice information at the back. Again, say numbers. This I believe is from the NATO. This sticker, uh, broad arrow, uh, NSN number. A check uh, repair tag of November 1989 or 4. Not easy to tell. By uh, Lucas Bradley Electronics, London. 
Hear more NATO tags with supply date of November 2017. And you can see we have actually only one connector for both of the modules because they are actually secured together like this and connected together thanks to one more of these connectors. Here is what they look like. This one, you can see the securing mechanism here and here. The big connector. Uh, here you have a gigantic wafer switch. You can see that extends uh, to here. So it is really, really big. Uh, multiple levels in this thing. So I will not take it apart any further because. It is super messy. Here you have your circuit board for this plugin. We have actually, uh, you can see uh, mainly a lot, uh, really a lot of these silver mica capacitors. Also, very nice. I do not know if they are capacitors or uh, must be capacitors in uh, ceramics here, these things here and here, and uh, a lot of trimmers. There is the other side for it. Uh, the other circuit board here with more of the same parts. And the uh, one coax interconnect between the two modules and it is actually all for this one the other one you can see the exact same selection of components excuse me it is a quick video because I want to get this thing out of the way your uh, input here in a shielded cans as always and here this big unit must be the main uh, delay line for the delay function do not know but uh, your unit sandwiched actually wait maybe I can try to undo this for you I will reinstall the camera like so because it looks like this thing is not too tedious to do so I can totally try it but apart from for, for this everything will be a nightmare to take apart in this oscilloscope it is really really mm. It will come, maybe not. Anyways, I can even cut the wires if I want because okay, a box like this with a dead code of Sean Free 1969 all clamped together. We have two times uh, two wires, so I will undo also these screws here. So some kind of a delay line, obviously. In a word, pattern and design. So you can see the kind of construction here. You remove the screws, the uh, standoffs fall. And it is really annoying, uh, quite uh, surprising, actually, from Yolette Packard. Not impressed. A lot of things are riveted, and you cannot uh, remove them. And uh, the main thing is the quality of the PCB, which are quite uh, low quality with uh, just thin plating. While you could expect uh, much better quality in this kind of equipment. Okay, what do we have here? <coughs> ah, I see. I see. Oh no, you see. 
uh, sandwich of uh, super big uh, PCB with bare copper it seems so soft uh, uh, flex PCB with a layer of uh, aluminium or something and a layer of uh, plastic or teflon and everything wrapped and we have uh, over something at the other side so basically there are two uh, long 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 uh, printed circuit tracks in uh, folded all together like this and it must do some flavor of a delay line quite interesting apart for this uh, not much in this module some uh, power diodes here and the same kind of uh, oops, excuse me component selection still but you can see uh, Everything is hardwired and really, really, I look at this here at the front, quite a mess actually. Interesting. Okay. Everything is well labeled as here, but uh, not easy to work on. And at the back here, I can see a loose zip tie. Okay, so I guess it will be all for this uh, video. This thing is, uh, this device is uh, catastrophic anyways as it is dead. And just a huge uh, desktop for me. But at least uh, silver micro capacitors, a lot of nice uh, gold leg transistors also. That could be salvageable. The plugins you'll find a lot of them on eBay, so and uh, I did check a lot of them are for sale, but a lot of them were not purchased. So I do not think uh, many people are, uh, are still interested in this uh, equipment because it is uh, really obsolete, anyways. Was good back in the time and uh, probably super expensive, in particular at the NATO price. So I think it will be all for this. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.